changes all over tonight's meeting program as we come to Heat 8. Matej Kuss it is who goes in the red helmet colour, the rider replacement rider in place of the injured Adam Roynan. Peter Yule comes in in blue as a reserve replacement for Rob Bradford. Theo Piper, the only unchanged position in the team, he's in white and off the outside start position for Glasgow. And in the yellow helmet colour, Nick Morris comes in in place of Mikhail Rykowski. So a few tactical changes going on here. Both sides looking to extract something from this Heat 7, a pivotal mid-meeting stage. I've said a couple of times, Heat 8 so important while the red car bears a running rider replacement. Their only opportunity to use a rider in the main body of the side in place of the injured Adam Reuner. Can Mate Kuss take advantage here? He's off gate three. Yule, his teammate, off the inside. Morris next to him. Oh, heat number eight and so much movement on the start line. Nick Morris surely had penalised himself there. But the red lights do come straight on as Morris comes through up the inside of Yule who backs off. And I would have said there on a first glance, and I must say that my last first glance was completely wrong, but on a first glance there it did look to me as though Nick Morris had penalised himself by moving on the start line and that perhaps the referee could have allowed that race to continue there, heat number eight. Nick Morris coming straight back in to the start line. We're going to see it again now. Matej Kuss moving slightly for a while, but he's settled when the tapes go up. And it's Nick Morris who's moving and moving, and then the tapes go up and the referee puts the red light straight on. Red car have hit the front there. So red car bears management might well be aggrieved about that one because Nick Morris was the culprit for the race being stopped, really. No punishment. And he's actually going to have a second opportunity to make the gate in this one, heat number eight. Nonetheless, the riders will try to forget about that and settle back down for this restart. Peter Yule off the inside, Nick Morris next to him, Matej Kuss off gate three, Theo Piper off the outside. Piper will be hoping to hit back because he only picked up a single point in heat three, then failed to score last time out in heat five. And that from a man who picked up a brilliant paid victory in the opening race. So Glasgow can well expect better because they've seen him perform already. Piper off the outside in the white helmet colour, perhaps one to watch in this one. Gate four often not productive in the early part of the meeting. Could it come good in the later stages today? We'll find out the O Piper off the outside, some movement again. But this time the referee allows them to hit the first turn and it's Kuss who runs straight to the high line. Morris has gained the advantage just as I predicted he might. Kuss passes around the outside to come through into second place ahead of the O Piper and now sets about Nick Morris with a wide outside line, but Morris has the lead. And at the back, it's his teammate, Peter Yule. At the moment, this is a Glasgow Tigers heat advantage as Kuss gains massive amounts of ground down that back straight, really winding it on, gaining the momentum coming out of turn two there. And Kuss gained a massive amount of ground. And now he sets about the outside on turns one and two once again. Morris looks over his shoulder, locks up out of turn two. And Mate Kuss comes through. Nick Morris making changes to his bike mid straight. That looks like the fuel area there. He looks over his shoulder now for his teammate. Points to the inside. It's all frenetic in second and third because in third place, Theo Piper only just about holding on from Peter Yule, who's at the back. Nick Morris has slowed up, and now Peter Yule comes through into third place. Nick Morris is furious, but unfortunately for him, that's not going to help his cause. He's failed to score from that one. Every team needs a little bit of luck from time to time, and the Red Car Bears have certainly got it in that one. But Nick Morris can well feel aggrieved because he was in a great position. He'd made a great couple of turns to lead the way. And Matej Kuss's pressure, well, it's hard to say whether Kuss would have been able to get through if it hadn't been for those mechanical problems for Nick Morris. Because on the opening laps, Matej Kuss was only just about staying in touch with Nick Morris in the end. Morris from first to last fails to score, but clearly mechanical problems causing that one. So Kuss picks up the win. Theo Piper in second salvages something for the away side. In third, it's Peter Yule. And the Glasgow Tigers lead it 26 points to 22.